the diagnosis was a shock. At that point, he knew he had advanced aggressive form of prostate cancer. At that point, he was thinking, and we were both thinking, that perhaps he might not make it to see his kids graduate from high school, even. We didn't know at that point. Prostate cancer isn't a journey you do by yourself. You have a caregiver. In my case, it's my wife, Patty. The interaction is very much so from emotional support. She is intimate to what I'm dealing with. She knows the drugs that I'm on. She knows the regimen that I'm on. She knows when I have to take my pills. You kind of rearrange your life more. When you get a cancer diagnosis, especially with one that's an advanced, more progressive type of cancer. But we wanted to take advantage to do the things that maybe we wouldn't get to do later on. So we're going to do them now. Camping and biking and Robin with his fishing. All those things were things that we enjoyed to do before, and now we were gonna make sure that we did them now and not put them off until tomorrow. We look at it from a perspective that we wanna spend more quality time with him. Because of that, it makes every time we spend with him, I think, a little more precious. We just kind of discovered that there were things that maybe we could do that would help him. Keeping things more natural, more organic, being active, being outside, doing things like biking allows us to, allows me to feel like I'm in control and I think both of us feel like we're managing this, yes. this disease better mm -hmm. by being active. Seeing him enjoy it as well is also something that, you know, helps us enjoy it a lot more too. Sure. Yeah. We, we did this before, we're doing it again and we're doing it a little differently now but it's yeah. a continuation and so I think that's important because otherwise you let the disease win.